Ukraine shows how technology is changing military medicine, write The Economist. The publication says that Ukraine is the first country where robotic medical evacuation is carried out. The armed forces of Ukraine use large cargo drones capable of transporting cargo weighing up to 180 kilograms to a distance of up to 70 kilometers to evacuate the wounded. And now, suddenly, one of the leading propagandists of Putin's war reveals that she is shocked, rightly so, by having found 284,000 obituaries on social media in Russia. There would be duplicates, but it's still a very high figure. Кто-то пишет о смерти родственника, кто-то не пишет. И вот те, кто решил написать, насчитали 284 тысячи человек, плюс без вести пропавшие здесь. Russian tank drives over their own mines. This is the downside of planting mines everywhere like crazy. They have lost a lot of people in such accidents. Drone against Russian supply truck. Artillery of the Ukrainian Armed Forces of Ukraine destroys Russian infantry with cluster munitions in the trenches of the Surovikin line. <laughs> Moscow Beach. It's worse than Anapa and Sochi. There are people everywhere on the other side, too. The situation on the beaches in Moscow and the Moscow region. Sanctions don't affect anything. Russians cannot afford to go abroad to the sea because of the collapse of the ruble and the closure of borders. Four people drowned in Moscow in an hour. Information about the drowned men was received by operational services from the area of Teplistan, Kuzminki, and also from the village of Krekshino. In most cases, those who drowned before bathing consumed alcoholic beverages. One of the victims entered the water with a bottle of beer. Before that, they write that at least eight people drowned in Moscow and the Moscow region in recent days. Several of them died in front of other vacationers. The trailer of the Ukrainian film 20 Days in Mariupol has been released. Documentary film directed by Mastislav Chernov tells about the siege of the heroic Mariupol. The film was awarded the Audience Award in the World Cinema Documentary Program at the 2023 Sundance Film Festival. Also, 20 Days in Mariupol was named the best film of the national competition and the prize winner of audience sympathy during the International Human Rights Documentary Film Festival, DocuDays Ukraine, 2023. But it must be painful to watch. <laughs> President Zelensky congratulated and awarded the servicemen of the Air Force of the Armed Forces of Ukraine on the day of their professional holiday. The president also thanked the military for their service. 
and noted their special role in protecting the civilian population of Ukraine from Russian missiles and drones. and some military porn for the end. Boston Dynamics Robot Evolution. Static fire. Booster 9 fires up its engines ahead of the next test launch of Starship. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.